How you guys doing out there? I thought I'd do uh, one more video in between cutting grass here. Uh, I don't know how long Facebook is going to try to continue to restrict mm -hmm. me and YouTube to block me out or anything like that. But uh, I wanted to say something here. Uh, I can't stand texting. And it's not that texting is bad. It's that sometimes when we receive a message through text... We don't know what tone that person is speaking in or what they really mean. So I prefer to make a phone call uh, or actually talk in person. Uh, the reason I like to do that because I can read facial expressions. I can uh, understand where they're coming from. A lot of us have gotten a text and said, hey, you know, uh, why would you send me that nasty, nasty text? You know, maybe they didn't put LOL at the end of it, whatever the case may be. But the reason I say that is people are taking things too far uh, without knowing all the details, without seeing the expression or the purpose of things. Um, I was just reading about uh, Shea uh, expanding the Shea product, hair product for African Americans, expanding to the white community. And black people are upset about this. Uh, you need to understand what he's trying to do. It's called uh, expanding your market. And uh, why would you be upset that somebody else would like to use a product that, that you use or people are, are like I said yesterday about the monuments, the Confederate monuments been taken down. People automatically think that everybody who wants those monuments to stay there are racist. Well, maybe there's other reasons why they do this. Um, the people in charge of, of these um, decisions as far as Shea, Shea has partnered with another company. Um, the Confederate, uh, the Confederate uh, monuments, mostly white people want those things. Most black people, especially in the South, really don't care. It's part of history. It's ugly. It's bad. It's what it is. But we need to understand mm -hmm. that the media, the elite, and politicians are taking control of us and heading us towards a civil war. Now, when I say civil war... I think of black and white. That's not the definition of a civil war. The definition of a civil war is parties of the same culture or same background that mm -hmm. fight amongst themselves in a nationality. It doesn't mean it's going to be a black or white fight or anything like that, but people in this nation fighting amongst each other. And I really think that that's what they're trying to do. Um, the politicians were complaining that, uh, you know, we're not going to sign a bill because Trump wants a wall built. He took that off the table, and they're still not happy. That should tell you something there. They don't care if the government shuts down. I got many of friends that work for the federal government as contractors, and I remember in Obama's term, some of them were almost losing their house because they were out of work. But guess what? Politicians, congressmen, House of Representatives, and senators still continue to get paid. So them shutting the government down does not affect them. It affects you. So let's avoid a civil war. If you want to feel, uh, if you want a civil war, the people you, who you need to fight are the ones you voted for that are sitting in office, that think it's a game to play amongst whites and blacks, Hispanics, Muslims, and all of us. Enough is enough. We have to come together and stay together. And not only that, we need to push forward and tell them we are not going to take it anymore. Now, somebody talked to me about a march in D.C. And I really thought about it. And yes, I think we really need to have an American first march in D.C. and demand term limits, demand that no government can issue any legislation over the people that they do not mm -hmm. institute over themselves. And make sure that they understand that. We can defeat the hate. We can ignore and not be manipulated by the elite and politicians if we stick together as American first. I'm Dion Alexander.